How can we expose the methods of a code unit using OData version form? I have created a code unit named get values and basically there is a method known as get value taking in an input value which is a decimal and returning a decimal and the return value is the input value multiplied by itself. There is an attribute of service enabled which exposes the method to the service. Once this code unit has been created and published to the Business Central Sandbox, we can be able to go to the Sandbox and search the web services and be able to create the code unit, which I've done. So if I, I filter with code unit, we can see I have created a co this code unit with the get values and the service name is values and there is uh, an odata version 4 url which is linking me to a microsoft link and there is a soap url which is um is linking me to this particular url that will prompt me to sign in so the url will be linking me to uh, uh, Microsoft Learn documentation on how to create and interact with an Odata version for Unbound Action. But how can we be able to get and expose this method that we have said that it is service enabled? And when you look at this documentation that it's linking, uh, it's kind of a little bit not very clear on how we'll be able to access the method that we want on the other side. A key thing to note here is the service name, that is the values, and the method name, the method name plus now the input value that we will be able to fetch. So Odata here, uh, when we expose a page in Odata, it usually gives us a URL. I don't know why the code unit doesn't give us a URL to make our work easier. So the page has a URL. So let me copy this URL for which page is it for the accountant portal finance queues. And I'll go to my postman. I've already uh, set up this URL for all data. And when you look at this URL for the page, there is some similarities. So uh, this video will assume that you have already been able to configure open authorization in your Azure and being able to fetch it via um, uh, the postman, via postman. So it's not part of uh, the scope of this video. If you have not been able to do that, then you might not be able to fetch uh, using uh, you, you might not be able to expose your method for using Odata version 4. So this is the URL for the page. And when you look at this URL, you find there is some similarity to the one that you're using up to this point where we are having Odata version 4. And then now we bring in the company name and then uh, the service name. So when we are exposing the code unit, the only difference from the page is we have, you know, the code unit has a method and it has the serv a service name. So after the Odata version 4, we specify the service name, which we say it's values, and then an underscore, then the method name, and then we have this query string parameter separator, and then we say now the company is this uh, my company, which I, which is the company that is I'm using in my sandbox. And once that has been done, we will have to, we set our, our body in the JSON. Remember here, it's what I've said, the authorization will be having a token that has been generated via open authorization. 
and there's no other parameter the headers will be automatically generated the most important thing here now is to have the uh, parameters for the body or and this is the input value that we uh, specified in our method in the code unit and uh, this is the input value that we are trying to key in so the input value is 9 so if i input 9 9 times 9 gives me 81 so if i change it to maybe 100 or 10 it should be 100 and so the value is expected to be 100 100 so and that's a, a, a way of getting the value from the code unit and exposing it to our web service the most important thing is to make sure that after the auditor version 4 in your url you have your service name and then the underscore and then the, then the method name and then you specify your company at this point at the same time uh, make sure you have any input parameters that you have uh, they should be specified in the body and the naming convention should mirror the one that is in your visual studio code or in your code so if the input value has okay most preferably you should use the camel case if this is the input value even this even if this could have been input value then uh, on our um, postman we should always have the camel case makes it easier uh, and then okay 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 so this name of the variable should be the same as the name on this other side so if i say 50 i can be able to expose the method so this one could be a customer name maybe customer number and it could fetch now from business central and be able to expose the method in um uh <laughs> okay to expose the method from business central to your uh, web service or to your other application or postman so that's it for this video and uh, allow me to introduce the business central masterclass registrations are still open we ha do have less than uh, two weeks before we uh, can be able to start the intensive class where um, everybody will uh, basically be given a chance to ask their questions about business central you'll be able to extend l in a good way by creating a project that will have a web service similar to what we are doing here and uh, by the end of the class you will at least be conversant with the basics you'll be conversant with workflows you'll be conversant with uh, some journal postings You'll also be able now to create a mini portal that will leverage the power of fetching data from uh, Business Central and also uh, fetching data from other applications to Business Central, communication of that data, and okay, making a HTTP request to other websites depending on the project that we'll have agreed to create uh, in the class. So that's it for this video. I hope if you would like to do a deep dive, you'll register for the masterclass. And if not, I hope you enjoy this video and share with others who have not been able or might need to be able to access the Odata version 4 uh, for their code unit uh, using Business Central. I will see you in the next video and may God bless you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.